Ha 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 ha! Hey! There you go! Double! Colour today. I was out in the river, fitting around some soft plastics for about two hours, and I said, "No, I've got to come out here, get a bit of bait, and then I'm going to go for some other fish." But I'm going to get some white, um, some calamari on my favourite spot, just off Fremantle Fishing Harbour. I haven't been here for about months. Anyway, the water is pristine clear. I'll show you the GoPro later on. Let's have you get them. It's pretty shallow here, so I've got to make sure it doesn't hit the bottom. So I will be using the working the rod a bit more than usual. Awesome. I just got him on my brand new jig. It's a really, I really love the colour. It's got like a purple, orange, marble colour and there you go. Great. So they've just done a fire up. Awesome. So I'm just gonna show you how clear the water is. And even better, I hope to see calamari in action. They're very hard to catch on camera, especially when I'm on the boat. The weed there, it's yeah, quite clear. You've got to love kids. The boat just went past me. The kid was talking to his dad. He goes, Hey, there's that YouTuber. Let's go and say hello. <laughs> so I just waved at him. Thanks, mate. If you're watching, I hope you catch heaps because I'm not catching much today. Hope you catch more than your dad. <laughs> Right, so uh, as I said, I was going for fish today. I've just had to move up on a sandy area. Uh, here in Perth, we get the southwest in the afternoon. It's only nine o'clock and the southwest is already picked up, so it's quite choppy. I've had to anchor. There's a big boat coming out, got to swap me. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to barely up to, and I'm going to go for, say, bottom bashing, maybe some whiting. Um, could be a flathead, flounder, but mainly whiting. See how we go. Right, for bait, I'm just using those squid tentacles. I'm not going to use the whole squid because I only got two, but the tentacles are just sufficient. Put on a Paternoster rig, you've seen it before, plonk it down, and hopefully they come to the party. Okay, so I've got something. Oh, yep. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that, that's a nice one. Intended species, yep. Okay, lovely. Superb eating these guys are. I have caught them before, but I haven't I haven't caught them for quite some time. I'm holding on to them very tight because they will slip and he will go back in the drink. I don't want that to happen. Let's see if we get a couple more. Oh, lovely, lovely. Oh, this swell is really picking up. Woo hoo! Okay, well, this one's got a bit of weight. Because I've got two of them for something. Oh, this has got a bit of weight. What is it? What is he? It's a big one. Big one. Absolute. Lovely specimen, that one. There you go. I'm just trying on the hand line. I love hand line fishing. I just love it. That's why I've been brought up. This is a nice one, this one. Oh, two. So I got a. Oh, that was a good flip. Lining, and that's a undersized small flathead. 
when you catch these, you know you're in the right spot for the for the whiting. That. Oh, damn it! Great job. Look at that. Beautiful. And he's chewing on the burley I just threw, threw him in. Well, in fact, it's, yeah, because I threw some muleys overboard. So the muleys are really working. Lovely. Right. Oh, this has got a bit of weight. I reckon there's probably two on these. To the rod action there. I've got the camera underneath it. Just see what, oh, what happens. What is it? Oh, no. No, it's not a fish. It's not what I wanted. Okay, this is going on. Better not be a butterfish. Oh, he's a nice one. Nice whiting. Yep. They've got some fight, you know. When, you, when I say they're small fish, they're good eating, but for the size, they actually, you know, give you a nice little knock knock. Woo! This has got some juice on this one. Feel like a two. Oh, it's just a big fat one. Yeah, big fat butterfish. Butterfish. Okay. I'd say it's a butterfish. Too heavy for a whiting. Oh no way! Woo! No, come on! Oh, that's <laughs> that's a whiting. I thought it was a butterfish because he was fighting pretty good. There you go. That's a nice juicy one. I just want to try and show you guys. There you go. Uh, it's only a sand whiting, but good eating fish, mate. Good eating stuff. Oh, I love it. Awesome. Yeah, look, they just come in nice and thick and fast. You know, lovely. It's not that big a one, but all right. I've got this white, a red bead. Now, for some reason, they like things red. They probably, I don't know, I don't know, they like things red. Oh, you don't have to use them, but I do. It works. You can use a, a red little um, like tube as well. Imitates like the um, the the worms that, that they go for under the ocean. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, this has got some weight. I keep saying that, but until it does, no need to drag because I've got 40 pound braid on. 20 pound braid for 40 pound leader. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Hey. There you go, double. Now that one's got some weight on it. <laughs> oh man, hey, take it easy. That is beautiful. And this one's here, you know, you get some good fillets. I like to beat them on the, on the bone, but fillet them, mate, that's a delicious fish. Awesome. The whiting are great because it's, they're called bread and butter species because I, I reckon there's, you know, there's, there's abundance of them. There are limits in both, so stick by them. But if you're out fishing and you're, you're not doing much on the big fish, no, nope. I reckon I'll go to the boat ramp and no one will complain for feed of sand whiting or a few calamari. They vomit what they've just been chewing on. And that's what he that's what he just threw up. So it's a bit of uh, a bit of worm from the bottom of the ocean. 